So I bolted it to a piece of uh, two by six. That'll work. So I'm gonna have to cut this one off. So guys, Bobby here, Bobby's Backyard Auto Works. Today, we're working on a Toyota Celica GT. Got some XXRs. It's got a little dual tip exhaust. It's pretty clean inside. Got seat covered, but I think the seats are good. I gotta ask uh, Eddie. Just past smog. Fender mirrors. That's kind of defeating the purpose of the aerodynamics. But today we're going to change the U-joints. Yay! U-joint is bad back here. Good thing is it is a two-piece, so I'm gonna take it off right there. 14 millimeters or 12 millimeters, one of the two. But yeah, it's making noise. Everyone, you slow down, you hear this. And then we start going again, and then it goes away, and then we start slowing down. So, we are going to replace those today. Let's get to work. Alright, after fighting with it for about an hour, and my finger, look at that. It was bigger, but, yeah, look at that split inside. It's purple, yeah. So we ended up cutting it with the cutoff wheel. Now we'll be able to get it out. I don't know. It didn't even have, like I said, snap rings in it. They use freaking JB weld. So I don't know what they were thinking, whatnot, but yeah, I don't know. But we're getting it out now. All right, I do have a vise, but I'm too lazy to put it up. I haven't installed it yet. So I bolted it to a piece of uh, two by six. That'll work. So I'm gonna have to cut this one off too. Installing it be a lot easier. All right, after cutting, hitting with a hammer, effing up my finger, it's done. New U joints now. We just gotta install it back in the car. Let's put it in. All right, she's all installed. Check it out. Put her on the ground, let's drive it. All right, it's gonna end another episode of Bobby's Backyard Auto Works on the 1983 Toyota Celica GT. We changed the U-joints on, uh, on the drive shaft. So until next time, please like, share, subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.